welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it is October 31st, which means it is time to draw a winner for our Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. I am so, so excited this month, but we also have to start a new package. I got the Sugar Skull pack from Miss Ellie Leva at Ellie Leva's Crafts and More. You thought we were done with stitch markers. We'll never be done with stitch markers. Not with Ellie making this wondrous stuff. Oh, sweet. The stitch marker holder is it's a, a purple, white, and pink beads. Right there, super cute. It was in my card. And it's a lovely card with some roses on it says thank you. There we go. Excuse me, I just drank a bit of soda and I've got the burpees. Hi Erin, thank you so much for your order. Take care, Ellie. I will. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, get back in there. Get back in the envelope card. Okay, so let's open the pack. This is the first day on this one, so there's going to be extra crinkling and things to look at. So she usually includes some sort of extra this time it is a wooden sugar skull kind of ornament on a piece of like twine and it's it's awesome. It's a very Dia de los Muertos. I love it. And let's see if we can there's day. Maybe day one is this one for the front. It is. <laughs> oh, kinda got stuck to the packaging. So sweet. And she's got awesome colorful confetti in the bottom there for the decoration. She always thinks about how the bags are put together. I love it. So here is the sticker for day one. Awesome. And let's see what design it is. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that's cool. That's really nice. So it's on a floral kind of garden rose background. And it's a purple skull with the stars in the eyes. And then I can't quite tell what's in the nose. But it's got some glass beads. It is so cool looking. Let me see. I don't want to... Mr. Pete is sassy, and I don't want to get like the hand scratches all up in your face. But let's see. Oh, look at how cool that is. That is amazing. Ellie, this is so cool. I am so excited by this one. So, um, I don't know if she has any more of this set left, but she did just announce that her Thanksgiving set is available for purchase. So if you want to get in on some Thanksgiving stitch markers, go for it. Oh, and what I am wearing is the, um, I think she called it a cozy cardigan. It's a gigantic granny square shrug cardigan from Krista at The Secret Yarnery. She did it in three colors. I alternated black and bright, sti bright stripes red heart stripes. The colorway is called bright stripes. It's the red heart stripes. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. And I made it specifically for Halloween. And as today is Halloween, I am wearing it. Yay. It has been very cozy. It is very frigid out there for us. Um, I do feel like maybe I, I went for oversized. I feel like maybe I made it a bit too oversized. But that's okay. We're rolling with it, aren't we? What else are we rolling on? Not that burp. I I got that down. <laughs> um, we have to pick a winner. So I am very excited. I was having a bit of a dilemma because we get um, winners based on the number of entries. And we were one entry short for the third winner. And I was like, oh no. Do I, do I stick to the rules that, you know, they're just rules I set for myself and get, or do I throw in the extra winner? What do I do? And then I got a last minute email from Mel of the Thalia's little hook. So she saved us. Mel saved us. So 
We officially actually have three winners this month! Yay! I am so excited! So if you're new around here and you don't know what the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight is, every month we select a creator. You should, everyone's been on YouTube, I'm open to somebody not on YouTube, but because not everyone reads patterns, and this is a YouTube channel, I feel a YouTube presence is, is kind of nice and, and needed a bit. But, like I said, I am open in the future to, to written pattern people. Um, but, so we pick a person and we celebrate them by sharing things we've made by them. They can be things that you've made in the past or things that you've made this month. It doesn't have to be all new makes. If you made something five years ago, three months ago, it's all welcome. Or if you made something this month in October. This month we picked Tamara Kelly over at Moogly. She has a website, mooglyblog.com, and you are welcome to do any pattern that she has available. So she does YouTube tutorials on her channel, and then she also has free written patterns on her blog. For the one I did, this, the Heatherstone shawl, which is going to be one of the prizes you could win, um, I watched her video and then I just went off the written because it was easier to check off the rows as I went. But whatever works for you. It's an awesome way, if you're not a confident pattern reader, to have the pattern in front of you and watch the video and maybe build those skills if that's something you're interested in doing. Um, but so how things work, people send me pictures and I'll make a slideshow so I'll share the pictures hopefully at the end of this video. But if it's running late, I might have to put it as a separate video. We'll see. Um, and I put your name on a list. I lost my train of thought. It's open worldwide, void where prohibited. All the rules were stated in the video at the beginning of the month. So if you have any questions, go refer to that. Um, and so you send me pictures. I put your name on the list. You can let me know if you don't want your pictures included in the slideshow. That's totally cool. Your name will still go on the list. I totally understand. Um, so you get a number. I use a random number generator and pick a winner. So I say, hey, give me a number between blah and blah. And then it shoots out a number. That person won. We're going to have three winners this week. I've been making an item by the creator. And then I also have some yarn packs as additional prizes. So the first winner tonight will win this beautiful Heatherstone shawl. I'm going to have a little trouble giving this one up. I'm going to be honest, but it was made for a purpose and it will fulfill that purpose. Um, I used Lion Brand Ferris Wheel in the color Pink Marmalade to make this. And I think it turned out super cute. I know not everyone's into pink, but I like it here. So, um, there you go. That will be the first one. It's 100% acrylic, so we don't have any fiber aversion concerns there. Um, one of the packs here we might, and if you are wool adverse, let me know. We'll talk. Um, the one other prize we have is some Wisdom Yarns poems. And I'm pretty sure these are the same color. Did I grab the same colors? Please. Please. Oh, your sticker. Am okay, yeah. They're just wound very differently, so I wasn't quite sure, but there you can see that yellow peeking through. Okay, so this is the colorway Amazon. It's 100% wool. It does have a wooly feeling, but it's not the scratchiest wool I've ever felt, and it is very pretty with this lovely marling. This is 250 gram hanks, um, 100 meters, 109 yards. It's a medium four, but it is roving, so there'll be some smaller parts. But from what I'm seeing, it looks like a pretty good four throughout. Well, that's a little blown up. That one might be a bit five-ish there. That's a fat four right there. But yeah, super pretty Amazon. And then this winner will also get a three. It's um, Hirschner's had these cast-offs. I am convinced this is Premier Basics DK. I cannot be 100% sure but I highly, highly suspect. They are very nice. They just don't have their dresses. So it's DK Castoffs, 100% acrylic. Um, you get three of them. They're 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, 306 yards, 279 meters, 
per ball, and that's a three pack. It's this very beautiful magenta color. It's a little brighter on screen than it is in person. So we got that. And then for the other winner, we ha I have a 10 pack. It is a 10 pack, and they sent it to me split down the middle, which is a little silly. 10 pack of this yarn, which I almost kept for myself, but I'm going to give it up. It's a Knob Hill Bamboo Breeze. It is so soft. So soft and silky. It's a two weight. So it's 50% cotton, 50% rayon from bamboo, made in Turkey. These are 129 yard balls. So you have almost 1300 yards here. You have 1290 yards. Um, which is a good amount. I think this would be fantastic top making material. Here for me, um, I'm a 1820 XL 2X. This would be enough for me to make a top for myself, especially if I were looking for t-shirt tank top summery thing, which this light bamboo would be wonderful for. That would be absolutely glorious. It would also make a very beautiful shawl. You can do a lot of things with it. It's kind of a clay color. I don't know if it has a color marked on it. It does not. Not that I'm seeing. But yeah, I think it's very pretty. And I hope you do too. So those are our prizes we have for this evening. And let us, I, I had my phone in hand, right? I showed it to you, didn't I? There it is. Okay, so we officially have 51 entries for this month, and that's so super exciting. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who participated. We're going to do, no, that, not a T, I need an R. Random number generator perfect there we go got a random number generator i'm just gonna use this one that pops up on my screen here and it will be one through 51 and remember hang on to the end and i will have a slideshow of everyone's glorious makes they are so cute there are so many wonderful wonderful patterns i do want to call out Barbara McEwen. She has participated pretty consistently in the Creator Spotlight, and I am so, so appreciative. But she made this glorious shawl she's wearing as like a neck piece. The color is so absolutely perfect on her. It is like, it's a beautiful picture. And I, I, I am just in awe of how absolutely on point that piece was for her. It was perfection and there were so many cute things there's um i wish i had seen it but there's like a couch organizer type thing that so many people made and it looks so so handy there was some bags um there was a number of hats which were all beautiful um a couple of shawls we had a couple of other people make heather stone shawls so you'll see that in different ways i did the kind of stripe bead with the ferris wheel the pattern itself is done with a solid and then a contrasting trim so we had one like that and then one person used scarfy light and it was beautiful it was beautiful um yeah just check out everything everyone did amazing amazing once again my want to make list has exploded thank you she said sarcastically but excitedly because this gives me so much like seeing all of your makes it it just keeps me so inspired and when i see everything you make it makes me want to be like oh i want to make that i want to make that i want to make that so i get as much if not more from this than you guys do i think but i'm gonna stop blibber blabbering and let's draw some winners okay uh, YouTube requires you to be 18 or older. Like I said, this is open worldwide void or prohibited, but you're responsible for any duties, taxes, or fees. So we can't pay those. We'll pay to ship it. Everything else is on you. And that's really the main stuff. Nobody is sponsoring this. This is just us having fun. The creator 
don't, they don't know before I pick them. I know Tamara does know because she commented saying, yeah, thank you for picking me, which is amazing and a little bit weird. So I'm like, oh, no, she saw me, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I mean, the world could see we're on, we're on the internets forever, right? <laughs> okay. Blibber blabbering. Done. Drawing. Now. We've got 1 through 51. Our first winner is going to win this shawl right here. Let's see who that is. Generate. Nope, click it again. Generate. There we go. I've actually touched it. Number 39. Who is number 39? That's going to be page 2. 39. Page two. It's Joni B. Joni B. Congratulations. You have a one. And you are a recent subscriber. Thank you. Thank you. I am so happy for you. So you've won that. I need you to email me at craftingkitty at gmail.com. It'll be down in the description box. And you have two weeks. So by November 14th, please send me your address and all that good stuff. And I will get your shawl out to you. Congratulations. So the second winner is going to get the DK and the wool. So remember, this one does have wool in it. This price pack has wool in it. Let's see who the winner is. One, two, three. Number 13. Lucky 13 on Halloween. It is... Handmade designs. Have you won last month, didn't you? I'm pretty sure I sent this off to you. No, it wasn't last month. You won recently. You won something from me very recently. You won from the Darla. So not last month, but the month before. Congratulations. I need you to contact me again because I don't keep your information. So please email me and I will get this out to you. I know you are international. Um, so it might take a little bit longer, but the last pack should have just made it. So <laughs> let's hope this one does too. Let's pick our final winner. Let's do it. So the last winner is going to win the 10 pack of the cotton bamboo yarn. One, two, three, number four. Rebecca S. Rebecca, you have won. Congratulations. I'm going to write number four and Rebecca S. I need you to email me at craftingkitty at gmail.com so I can get your glorious winnings to you. I believe you emailed me your pictures in the first place, so I think you know the deal. Handmade designs, I know you know the deal. You've won before, but remember craftingkitty at gmail.com. Everything's in the description box. 14 days, so by November 14th, please. I'm so excited. Everybody congratulate and look at the beautiful makes and tell everyone how wonderful they did because they did a fantastic job. They did a great job. Okay, I'm going to see you tomorrow to announce the November Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. Where did the year go? I'm going to be wearing the same clothes because I'm going to film it right now. See you in a few. <laughs>